Hello, hello, so loves. It's Kimberly with Celestial Juju. And we're here to talk about this new moon in Pisces, all signs. And I'll uh, give you the stones and all of that too at the end. And why does my thing keep changing? So this is the energy that we're in with this new moon. As always, new moons are about bringing in the new, planting the seeds and setting your attentions and where it's going. So this new moon, um, we got Pisces, Pluto and Capricorn doing some stuff. So there's, um, it, it's, it's going to signal a in a ending and endings will bring about new beginnings, which represent the new moon. The new moon is an opportunity to focus on the spiritual and emotional healing and Pisces is a water sign. So it's associated with intuition, imagination, empathy, and communication with the Saturn brings an intense responsibility to the structure of these dreamy energies. And this new moon can help you tap into your inner wisdom and explore new venues for self-expression while providing a necessary grounding to bring in the realities. So think about how you can harness this energy with this new moon to bring more balance and harmony into your life. Consider ways to connect with others in a meaningful ways. Use the power of a visual, visuals, visuals. I can't say that. Use your imagination and visualize <laughs> to bring your dreams and desires to focus and take concentrated steps to make them reality. With Saturn's influence, with Saturn's influence, you may feel called to be more um, responsible and disciplined, but it's also a time to let go of any limited belief systems that embrace your and embrace your creative potential. So this moon is a time to sow new sow, sow new seeds for your desires and take a step forth to realize your full potential and to use these energies of this new moon and, and the forthcoming Saturn in Pisces transit to cultivate a sense of purpose and direction and connection to your inner wisdom. So expect it to bring spiritual and emotional energy to the collective and it's time for this inter 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 journey and self-reflection with the emphasis of inner peace and harmony okay so we can bring um opportunities of new love but with the saturn it also may be closure of some relationships so know that, that, that there's endings and endings to certain financial situations, but these endings are necessary to move forth with the new beginnings of growth in these areas. And then, and so uh, remember this new moon is here to embrace change and to trust the progression of life. So it's a powerful time. Okay. So now we're going to go, it's a powerful time for Pisces rising. That was what I was getting ready to say. So now I'm going to go into all signs and the energy that it is for you. And we're going to start with Pisces in honor of Pisces since it's in, it's the Pisces new moon. Okay. So it's a powerful time for you and the new moon and Saturn in conjunct in this, in this first house is highlighting the importance of self-expression, individuality, and it's time to let go of limiting beliefs and embrace your creative potential and connect to your inner wisdom and intuition. It's about your self-image and identity and use this new moon to focus on your personal growth and cultivate a strong sense of self. Aquarius. Oh, 
I forget to say, this is for rising sun and moon signs, okay? That if you have any of those three, that that's that this flavor of this energy will be um, in this sector for you. Okay. So this new moon and Saturn are in the second house, which governs the values of material possessions. And it could be a time to focus on your financial stability and make decisions that align to your values. So the new moon can bring renewed sense of purpose and helping you prioritize what is truly important in your life. Capricorns, new moon, Govern this new moon in this house governs communication and relationships with siblings and neighbors. And it's time to focus on building strong, meaningful connections with people in your life. It can bring a deeper understanding to your relationships and help you communicate your thoughts and feelings more effectively. Sagittarians. This new moon and Saturn that are in your fourth house and it's which governs your home and family. So it's time to focus on creating a stable, supportive home environment and explore your emotional needs. It can bring greater understanding to your emotional state and can help you connect with your family, loved ones at a deeper level. Scorpio. It governs your creativity and self-expression. It's time to focus on exploring the venues of self-expression. Tap into your creative potential and bring a deeper connection to your intuition can help you let go of limiting beliefs that may be holding you back. Libras. This energy is governing your health and work. So it may be time to focus on taking care of your physical and emotional well-being and make positive changes in your work environment that can bring deeper understanding to your emotional state and can help you you create work-life balance that aligns with your values, the values of you. Okay, Pisces, new moon, no, Virgo, I'm sorry, Virgo. Okay, it's the Pisces new moon in Virgo. Okay, so this energy governs your relationships and partnerships. So it's time to focus on building strong, meaningful connections with people in your life and explore your emotional needs in relationships. This can bring a deeper understanding to your emotional state and can help you communicate your thoughts and feelings more effectively. Okay, Leo. This is about transformation and change. It's time to focus on personal growth and transformation and let go of any limiting beliefs that may be holding you back. It can bring deeper connection to your intuition and can help you tap into your creative potential. Cancer runs, moon chat babies. This is all about expanding your beliefs in the worldviews. It could lead you to exploring new philosophies, cultures, taking a journey to broaden your horizons. It's a great time to dive into some spiritual exploring. And with Saturn there, it can help you structure the findings that you unground, un, un, that you unearth <laughs> and ground it into reality. Get ready for some big time growth in your understanding of the world. Okay. Gemini. This new moon is calling you to step forth in your career public standing and authority. It's time to show the world you've what you've got and what you're made of. The conjunction with Saturn will help you stay organized, focused, and serious about your goals, making it easier to climb the ladder of success. 
it could be a pivotal moment in your professional journey to go ahead and seize the opportunity. Taurus, this new moon is about your hopes, dreams, and desires for the future. It's time to focus on what you really want in life and start manifesting it. Saturn's conjunction will give you the structure and discipline you need to turn your dreams into reality. Don't be afraid to reach out to your community for support and remember that working together with others lead to great things. Get ready to turn your vision into tangible realities. Okay, Aries, this one's for you. You've got Pisces, Saturn, Transcends calling you to look within and connect to your intuition. It's time to focus on your spiritual and emotional well-being. Let go of any baggage that's been holding you back. Saturn can help you be more disciplined in your spiritual practices, giving you the stability that you need to find peace that you seek and embrace self-reflection and let go of what no longer serves you. Okay, now I'm going to share with you essential oils and stones that could help you on your journey. Okay, what did I do with those? Let me find them. Well, okay, I'll tell you all right off the hip of my head. Um, Clarity, Clary Sage, it's going to be good to ground all of this potential in. And this dreamy energy that's out there. Okay. Um, let's see. Lavender is going to be good for the central nervous system. Frankincense to balance the polarities. I've lost my page, you all. Where the heck did it go? <laughs> I know these. I don't know why I look at this. Okay. Um, orange blossom. Lang Lang. Those are all of those are going to help balance this and get and enhance the energies for you. Okay, cedar wood and sandalwood. The cedar wood's going to um, it's going to calm your mind and support grounding. And the sandalwood will promote calmness and spiritual awareness to your inner peace. Okay. Lang Lang is going to support the emotional balance and reduce any feelings of stress. So I think I need some right now because since I lost that and then I remembered I cut and pasted it. So all I had to do was hit that. Okay. Stones. Stones that will help you during this time period to enhance your energies that you can use these in a grid. You can wear them. You can sleep with them. You might have to move your partner over to put all the stones in your bed. Amethyst. It has a soothing energy that's going to help balance the emotions associated with the third eye, the crown chakra, making it um, helpful to uh and uh connecting to your spiritual your spiritual self and your intuition during this and the moonstone is going to give you some strength it's always associated with the moon it's you know it's cancer stone and um it's going to help bring in that common energy and it's going to help with your manifestation so labyrinth's going to connect you to your celestial guides and your allies in that way and aquamarine is going to help. It's associated with the water element. And this is all water. This is a water sign. So it's going to help balance the calming emotions of too much. If you get too much in the emotional wave. So it will, it will help. It will help with that. Okay. Let me think. Let me think about anything else here. Anything else that wants to come in. Okay. I'm getting breathe. Breathe in these energies. And, you know, with the stones and the allies and the support that's here. You know, planets are here to support you in this journey here on this planet we call earth and we can use this planetary energy as our ally to help us move into the energies to manifest and to bring in all all that we desire okay i'm gonna turn that off right now okay so thank you thank you so much for being here thank you for being on this planet 
Thank you for being incarnated at this time to be here and to anchor in these energies of this big change. So I've got another one coming up on the Saturn Cassini and what's going on with that and Saturn moving in, no, Pluto. I'm, yeah, Saturn Cassini and Pluto moving into Aquarius. We've got a bunch of stuff going on in March again, you all. Lots of stuff. Planets might be direct, but there's lots of things happening. So remember, like, share, subscribe, be your freaky self and ground your gifts in to this time we call now. Kimberly Crow with Celestial Juju. Bye.